Look at what 1 Corinthians 14, 22 through 24 says. It says, tongues are a sign not to those who believe, but to unbelievers. It says when unbelievers come in and everyone's speaking in tongues, everyone's prophesying, they will see that God is among you and they'll fall on their knees and say, this is God, this is God. I remember when my father-in-law came to one of our meetings and we were meeting out at Tech and our meetings were pretty rambunctious back then. I mean, today was tame compared to what we were doing back then. Uh, not that today was tame, it was good. But my father-in-law came and he, he was not a spirit-filled guy at all, as far as I know. And, and I was nervous. And I said, Lord, don't let anybody do anything today. <laughs> don't let there be any prophecies. Don't let there be any messages in tongues. God, don't let people just bounce around crazy today. Just, just one day. So my father-in-law comes, and he's sitting there. And, and uh, it was one of those days. 37 messages in tongues and you know prophecies I'm exaggerating just a little bit everyone just going crazy for God in the presence of God and I thought this is it the hammer is going to fall he's going to hate me forever he's going to he's going to think I brought his daughter into a cult so we go out to eat and he said something like this he said you know I've never seen, I thought, what's he going to say? I've never seen such crazy, stupid stuff. He said, no, I've never seen such love. I thought he would see all these other things, but what the Holy Spirit was showing him was kids that loved each other. And you know, it, it, something, something went on. We had a great relationship with Dr. Long after that, and a lot of good things happened. And, and I want to tell you, don't... Don't be ashamed, no one won't be ashamed of Jesus, but don't be ashamed of the Holy Spirit. Don't think if I, if I move in these things, people are gonna think I'm weird. Let me give you, let me tell you a secret. They already think you're weird. You're the guy that doesn't cheat. You're the guy that pays his taxes. You're the gal that doesn't gossip. You're, you know, we're already seem weird to the world. So let's just do it with power. 